The Baltimore Ravens, Sunday Night Football, got a hard-fought win. It was ugly at times. It was ugly for one very extended stretch at the end of the second quarter, the half that would never end because nobody wanted to have the ball in their possession when the clock struck zero. But the Ravens pull off the victory, and as mentioned earlier, they're now technically the one seed with an 8-3 and three record, even though Lamar Jackson had four interceptions the Ravens get it done. Let's hear from John Harbaugh, the coach of the Ravens, regarding a defensive performance that sealed the deal because the offense definitely didn't for the Ravens on Sunday night. Defense was just off the charts. I mean, that's one of the best defensive performances that we've seen out here in a long time. To hold that offense down the way they did, to hold that rushing attack down the way they did, the play-action passing game that they have, the boots, uh, the hard play actions, the chunk passes. They had a few. Uh, thus far, our guys played tremendously well across the board on defense. Our edges were especially good. 262 yards allowed to the Cleveland Browns, and that Browns offense looked anemic the whole night. The running game wasn't there. Baker Mayfield is still physically impaired, and the team seems in denial about that. or They just don't know what to do about it, so they just keep putting him out there, but it's clearly not working. They still had a chance. Hey, Ball's in your hands with a minute left. You still got a yeah. chance to drive down the field and win the game. I, the way things went, they had to have been happy to have the opportunity, but uh, they didn't do anything with it in part because that Ravens defense was so good against the Cleveland, Cleveland offense all night long, Mike. So, again, you know, we're, we're talking 17 games, right? And it's tough to ask one side of the ball, and especially one player like Lamar Jackson who is – just an unbelievable player and, and the touchdown pass he threw the 13 yard and that scramble before he threw it to Andrews was was vintage Lamar Jackson but the four interceptions weren't but what happens is you can't do it every single game you want to but you can't that's why you have a team and that's why you need a team that's balanced on both sides and for this one it was a defense to step up because now Kareem Hunt is back you have Nick Chubb you're thinking okay here we go, Cleveland, you know, already, you know, at the top of the rushing attack. And those guys have been hurt. And they were able to continue to hold that together. Now they have them both back. And they don't get, they don't get anything, you know, because of this defense. So this is even Lamar Jackson said, hey, give it up to that side of the ball. That's who saved their bacon last night without question. And that's what happens. That's what you do. That's what good, that's what great teams do. They have one side of the ball that can, when they need to, step up if the other side isn't doing it, because that's the expectation, right? Every time Lamar Jackson gets on the field, the expectation is to see that great touchdown throw or just go, wow. But every now and then it doesn't happen. You know, you get the turnovers. So now you have to pick them up on the other side. And that's what the defense is. To stop that vaunted rushing attack by the Cleveland Browns was monstrous. And then, and because it was a close game, so this is, it was a, you know, a one possession game after Cleveland gets that touchdown to, to give them 10 points. And they had a chance at the end, but they couldn't run the ball. And the problem now with Cleveland, let's be honest, they, they don't have a receiver that can separate, right? That can consistently separate and have that, that big, big route of being wide open and give Baker that big time target. You know, these guys get covered up a bit, and the throw really has to be there. And with Baker, sometimes it is, and sometimes it isn't. He tries to make things happen on the run. He ran one play, runs out of bounds, and he's limping. He's hurt. But you know what? I, I'm not going to sit here and, and say, you know, uh, well, what, what are you going to do? Baker wants to play. Baker's going to continue to go out on the field. Like most players that are injured, they're going to continue to run out of the field. It's up to Kevin Stefanski to say, you know what? If we feel we're not getting enough out of Baker, we're the ones that are going to have to pull him off the field and put Case Keenum in there. You know, if you want to get on Baker for not playing well, under 50% completion, great. But the injury part of it, he's going to go play. That's what players do. They play when they're hurt. So he's doing what players want to do. That's up to the coaching staff to decide, is this enough? Are we going too far the one way where we're going to need to change it here and just sit him and let him at least maybe get a week or so to heal up a little bit from all his injuries. But I, I don't blame the guy at all for wanting to go out on the field every single time. You should have to, have to want to drag your players off the field. They should want to play like Baker wants to play. And it's up to the staff to decide, is this the right thing for us right now? But it's a combination of things. They couldn't run the ball. They don't really have that separation wide receiver. 
and their quarterback is hurt. Not an excuse, because if you step on the field, you're saying I'm healthy enough to play and to produce. Then you need to produce. And Baker knows that, and any player knows that, who goes on the field who is injured, which most are at this time of the year. This is now falling to a coach's decision on what's going to give us the best chance to win. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.